What's up everybody and welcome back to Ubante Garage. So today I have another CRZ video for you guys. We are going to be doing the first five things you should be doing to your CRZ. The best thing about this list is that it's under two grand and it'll definitely change how you feel about your CRZ if you already have one and overall how the CRZ performs because that's what we want. So before anything exterior goes on like the body kit or anything, these are the five essential mods I think you should do first. So let's get to it. All right. So the very first thing that I think you should do to your CRZ is the spoon front sway bar. So it's actually the only mod I don't have on my CRZ yet. I know I'm making a list for what you guys should get, but if you guys go on CRZ forum, you'll read up that the spoon front sway bar makes such a huge difference on these cars. It is around $300. That's well, 250 plus shipping. And that is too worth it. So front sway bars actually reduce body roll during hard cornering. And the CRZ actually does not come with one. Why is that guy? But you add that to this car and you will guarantee feel a huge difference. I have the progress rear sway. You don't feel a difference. So I don't recommend you get that. So number one is the front sway bar from Spoon. Good stuff. Very good stuff. Number two, the second thing you should do to your Honda CRZ is, damn, let me unlock this real quick. All right. The second thing is the air box, the stock air box mod. So if you guys have a stock air box still and your CRZ is untouched, I highly recommend number two should be modding your stock air box. So if you guys don't like your Honda CRZ because it's so quiet and just too much of a hybrid, you can basically just open this guy up. There's tabs in here. As you can see, the white lines are all tabs that I snapped off and added a K&N intake filter. Those are pretty cheap. Cut these ribs off and left these block the resonator with a little tiny blocking plate. I use a storage container lid. That's all I did. Put it back together. I got the idea off of the spoon airbox mod that they would do to the Honda EP3 and RSX chassis. And that'll increase airflow, reduce turbulence, and you should get better throttle response. And you'll hear this bad boy. So highly recommend you do that. That is number two. Number three, guys. So if you guys already own a Honda CRZ, you know this bad boy is beautiful, but let's be real. This hatch glass on the top, if you ain't got tint, you are living that hard life during the summer. It gets so hot. As you guys know, the back window is almost 40% of the entire cabin. And I mean, the front window is so sleek. You really only have this little tiny piece covering over your head. The front U is getting hot, the back U is getting hot. If you don't have ceramic tint, this car is getting super hot during the summertime. So number three is ceramic tint. You should get this window, this window, and this window at a minimum because that'll keep out the most heat. That is number three. Get that done. Should be around $200 for three windows on ceramic. If you guys go cheap, it'll be a lot less, but you won't get that reduction in heat if you go with normal tent. All right, number four. 
is these T1R wide angle side mirrors. So if you guys have a CRZ, which you guys probably do if you guys are watching this video or are very interested in one, to see the... You know that the damn blind spots in this car suck. Bruh. But that's what these do. This guy and that guy would not be as legit without these side mirrors. They make such a huge difference. If you guys have OEM side mirrors, you'd understand. I believe that they actually fix this issue on the newer models slightly, but not as good as these. I just highly recommend you get them because they changed my feelings toward this car when I got them. Instantly liked the car that much more and it was just worth it. So yeah, being in this driver's seat, you can't see this mirror at all. And you can barely see this one. You have to actually move this seat forward for you to use that one. So, I mean, at least you got that, but it's really tough sometimes. And yeah, T1R side mirrors, put the link in the description below and you can go ahead and get a set for yourself. All right, what is number five? Number five. All right, number five. Most definitely the most expensive part of all of this. But remember, you guys are gonna have a great car and it's gonna be under 2K, is the suspension. So, my CRZ is currently running BC Racing coilovers. They are $1,000 brand new off eBay or wherever you would buy them. $1,000, you can lower it. Get that much lower to the ground. If you guys are going to lower this car, don't go at lowering springs. It just doesn't change anything and you just blow out your struts anyway. So definitely go with coils. You need a camber kit in the front. And I'll put the link for that down below as well if you guys want to get that. The best thing about this car though when it comes to lowering it or adjusting the height. I mean it sucks and it's awesome at the same time because the rear is completely solid and unadjustable. But with that being as sucky as it is, plus side, you only need to get the front aligned. So just two cents from my experience, find an alignment shop that can really work with you because you should only be getting the front of this car aligned. So normally alignments out here cost $90 and you don't need to be spending that. So talk to them. Be like, can you do the front for half? Because that's all you guys should be paying. If you guys are down in San Diego, I highly recommend Clarence Brown Alignment Shop. They are my go-to guys and they are awesome. They will fix your car and even tell you what you need to fix before they even work on it. They will verify, tell you what you need to fix and send you on your way until you come back because you need to get that all dialed in before they can get it done to their standards. So that is five. And that's it but I actually got one more thing I just remembered I want to tell you guys number six it is in the engine bay sorry guys it is so dirty in here but number six is this guy right here that is the EGR valve and if you look at almost 100% of the CRZs out there this EGR valve is always rusted it's not the body it's just this bracket down here. It's definitely an easy mod and I can see why people overlook it, but all you gotta do, move these two bolts, pop it out, mask off the body, grab a paint brush and some high temp paint and just paint it. And that is it. Those are my five first things you should do to this car, plus one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and tell me what you guys liked. Tell me what you think deserves to be in this list. And yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.